So, uh, Augusta was fine, speed from shining just about all the time. And you know, Jordan is laid back. The man on the greens and all golfing things. And that's the fact, Jack. Just 21, having all kinds of fun and raking in boatloads of dough. The exemptions are sweet. Five years you can be, he said be. Jordan's beef, you are on a roll. Golf's new king, without all of that bling. He got game, got swing. Does he use ping? And giving us all a thrill. <laughs> all right, way to go. King Jordan. By the way, talking about kings, talking about guys who have greatness, uh, if you're going to pay a coach to win, which of course you are, then i got to think Urban Meyer at Ohio State is heavily underpaid. Ohio State just inked him up another five years, six and a half million per through 2020. You talk about a guy who just does nothing but wins, does nothing but wins. 24-0 in the conference, 38-3 overall since he came to Buckeye land. He has won everywhere he's gone. Bowling Green, Utah, Florida, Ohio State. He wins better than 84% of the time. Ungodly Urban Meyer. You the man too. No doubt. And while we're talking about guys who have a lot of talent, is it true? I want to know if it's true. ESPN floated a story last night that Steph Curry, the great Golden State guard, made 77 three-pointers in a row in practice. Are you kidding? 77 from beyond the arc. Is it true? Is it true? Uh, I guess I got to check with Dub Nation President Jeff Cohn in San Fran. Hey, baby, get on that. Find out, Jeff. Did it really happen? Anyway, the Dubs, they are the number one team in the NBA. They'll have home field as long as they're alive. And they're going to play the winner of, uh, well, not the winner, but whoever wins out tonight between Oak City with Westbrook or New Orleans with Anthony Davis. Now, in the east of the NBA, and by the way, aren't you glad the regular season has come to a merciful end? Oh, my. Thought it would never end. It took about four years to complete. Uh, anyway, in the East, Atlanta, they're the number one seed, and they're going to play uh, however it shakes out with Indiana and Brooklyn. And by the way, Boston, the C's got in last night, number seven seed. Uh, they're going to take on LeBron and Love and Kyrie Irving. NHL playoffs begin tonight. If, if you want to watch them, let me know how that turns out. Just I may not get to it in time. All right, baseball. How about the Royals? The only undefeated team, they're 7-0, but the Tigers are 7-1. Miguel Cabrera is batting about 500. They're getting great pitching from the former Yankee, Shane Green. David Price has yet to give up an earned run. And the Tigers right now do not seem to miss. Max Scherzer or the D.L. Layden, Justin Verlander. How about that? Really? Uh, how about the Mets? They're off to a 5-3 start. They got a new closer in Familia, who has three saves because Mejia went down with the uh, steroidal suspension, and they're still waiting for, for or Parnell rather to come back from the uh, Tommy John surgery. Uh, now they got a guy who may be going on the DL, 32-year-old third baseman David Wright, who's been a good player for a number of years for the Flushing guys, but he's getting brittle and he's getting old. And last night, when the Mets beat the Phillies six to five, Duda Duda had three RBI. Uh, Wright had to leave the game with a uh, hammy pull, hamstring. After the game, Met manager Terry Collins, TC, said, you know, D. Wright never complains. So when he does complain, he's got something to complain about. If he's got to go to the DL and he has to visit his groin ecologist, it's not going to be too good because you never want to visit your groin ecologist. But we will say we love visiting with you right here on The Walk.